Time has come. Daddy, We're leaving. Daddy. Oh. <laughs> all right. Oh my God. Turn it all off, okay? Close the door and leave. Goodbye, apartments. She asked if we, if we sad to leave here. Okay, Elvis has left the building. Maybe not Elvis, but Moonshine and Lemgrass has. So, we put the jam out. We have to get the red line, which is over there. It's not far from me. And the red line will get us to KL Central. And from there, we'll take the, the airport bus. Sounds easy. Let's see if it works. Uh, KL Central. Oh. Sorry. I cannot go in. Ah, too much luggage. Okay, thank you. All right, guys. We're on the red line. So the adventure starts, so it has started. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, goodbye, KL. We have, we have not seen much this time. We're mainly staying inside. Oh, all right. Let's go to the, let's go to KL Central and try to get the bus to the airport. You, you probably know in KL, <laughs> the MCO is extended again. And in Penang, and Ador, and in Selangor, uh, and the, the other, States are under CMCO. It's not much better. Oh, but that's stress. You know, I can't really say bye bye, KL. It's really sad, you know. It's really sad. Oh, oh there we are. Bye bye. Oh, I can't even see the flag. It's so high up. All right. Oh my God. Ah, uh, the old. What's it called? Is that the old train station? I'm not even sure anymore. I know it's something else, but you know. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye, Chester. All right, smooth. Okay. All right. We are at Kales and Drown. And there's the cops. In Kales and Drown. Just talk to the cops, they're very nice actually. They show us the new technology. All right, you know, it kind of is cool, but yeah, there are storms inside me. I'm uh, part of me just want to, want to go back and stay. Although, yeah, that, that the MCO here in KL is extended makes it easier for me to leave actually. All right, that's we also take a train, but a train is like a lot more expensive. That's why we're taking the bus. A bit harder to find. You gotta go through the whole thing, then through the exit, and then down. Oh, of course, the last bus was at six o'clock. It's because of the MCO, you know, usually there are lots more buses. And yeah, so we have to take the train. The very expensive option. Oh, come on, guys. You're making it easier and easier for me to leave. So we're waiting for you know, before we go down to the platform, but there's no one here but us. I wonder if there are other people. And I wonder what it what it's like on the airport. Let's go and check that out. <laughs> yeah, we'll see that. Changing the mask. I took another royal mask. I got 50 of them. <laughs> you know, the other one was wet. You know, coming here was very, very exhausting in a way. Well, actually, you know, KL, you need lots of uh, luggage, you know, just walking 100 meters and you're wet. Let's go down. And if some, if one of you is more than two meter tall, you know, you gotta watch out. I am not. I am almost two meters. Oh no, not quite. I'm not as tall as I thought I was. All right, so it's another 45 minutes for the train to come. There's no one here. I wonder, I mean, there must be other people, huh? That 45 minutes early, you know? Nobody's that dumb. I'm gonna wear the mask if nobody's here. <laughs> and everything is disinfected, so. Eh, it's kind of cool, huh? We could make champagne party, you know, to get over the sadness. I'm not going to. I, I'm gonna ask my wife why she's wearing a mask. Nobody's here, you can take off the mask. I think, I don't think someone is gonna find us. I mean, nobody's here who will find us. 
and uh, there's a, an air conditioned room to wait, okay? Although it's not even that cold, let's go inside. The kids will go to bed now, but not today, not for a long time. Train, we saw one, one person and we got a horsey, hey, horsey. Okay, of course, it's a very modern, a very modern train. And it is freezing cold, of course it is. But it's of course a very cool, you know, this guy he, and this guy, they explain life. They, they tell you exactly what it's all about. Mm -hmm. all like this. Anyway, there are other people. There are lots of other people, not just a few, but there are other people. There's four stops. But it's a nice, it's kind of a nice, nice train, right? You can dance in it too. It's got music. Wow, wow. It's not so bad. But it's not cheap. It's it's a pretty much of a rip-off again, just like the test. We are arriving at the airport and actually everybody got out with it. I don't know, there's one guy. Us and that guy. Here we are. The exit. All right. So our fifth floor is the departures. Is it gonna be that easy? Ah, this is you. And this is you. Check in right now. What do you think? So, what do, I mean, we have to wait, or? I have to do something for Oh, okay. Like what? <laughs> it's not, like, it's quite empty, but it's not empty empty. It's not like ghost empty. Wow, it's cool, huh? That's like the first airport in a long time. It's like the first airport in we arrived in Bangkok 2019 in November, mid-November. So, yeah, since then. <laughs> it, it seems so futuristic, you know. I feel so out of place. Huh? What do you think? Check it out. And, and yeah, yeah, the, the, the new cameras. Like, I talked to these cops before and they showed me and you, someone, you walk and, and the camera will, will, will see you from afar and like measure your temperature. It's like, come on then, that's, that's like science fiction, right? It's like everybody is quiet, you know? Like people are actually afraid of making too many noises. I think normally that's not like this on airports. I mean, there are quite a few people here, but it still has a, a very different feel, you know? This very, very dystopic feeling, like utopian feeling. Everybody's wearing a mask, just think about that, you know? Like, this is where we, where we are now. Is this gonna stay? I keep hearing these things, you know? So that would be, that would be very sad indeed. You know, I don't want to live like this. I, I, I do not, definitely. It's mostly, you know, mostly Indian looking people here. I mean, the whole, the whole hall is mostly Indian looking people, you know, India, Bangladesh, Pakistan. I mean, they, they look similar to me. So I cannot tell them apart, which is very interesting with big luggage. Are these all, you know, foreign workers that are going finally home or are being sent home or... It's very interesting actually. And it's a lot of people. I mean a lot of people. Not as much as, as usually would be but still more than just a few. That's interesting. And yeah, all the, the coffee shops are closed. I mean it's not that late, it's a bit late but so I'm probably even impossible to get some grub around here. I think. Let's check in. How do you see this? It's very dark. There's not really a night camera. Interesting, eh? So anyway, so we have to wait for another hour to check in. So I'm gonna. There's one one currency exchange is open. All the other ones are closed. Even McDonald's is closed. I don't know if you can see it. But I can 
exchange my my leftover ringgit here. Kind of cool here, huh? So this is the outside. You can actually go outside for you know for a smoke or for a little little walk around. It's so futuristic here, huh? Kind of like these big old halls and then this this thing here. This what's it called? <laughs> the flight tower? Is that what is that what is it? Alright, so it's pretty cool. I like it. I'm, I'm not sure we probably cannot see it well because yeah, it's very dark. That's the thing, it's so dark. I just have the feeling that usually this would be more more lit up. Not sure. Anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show that, you know. Last time I breathed the fresh Kuala Lumpur air. And I'm tired and I won't get any sleep in a long time. But yeah, and I'm sad. Also, I'm excited, you know. Same time. Next chapter. All right. Yeah, let's see if we can manage to get there. So we're, we're still waiting. Qatar Airlines has to communicate with Egypt or to ask to, to, to confirm that the country is open to tourism. Of course it's open to tourism. Why would they offer flights if it were not open to tourism? Ah oh, man. Yeah, we're not like not too good now. I'm I'm really angry. And all the shops of course are closed. Oh, upstairs there's one shop open, a cafe. Hard to believe. But other than that, yeah, there's no liquor or cigarettes to be bought. Well, maybe something open up there. But you know, we don't really need to buy anything. Alright, so it was it did not go as smoothly as I thought it would. <laughs> I seriously hope, you know, tomorrow it's gonna be different. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm tired, it's not even that boy is what time is it? It's almost two. So. Okay, so we're inside the plane, we sat down. We only had four places, you know, four seats, but we got Two full rows, you know, these, these, these four here and this one because, you know, they're not sold out, you know. There's quite a number of people, but basically, you know, they've given like, most people like a row. I mean, or, or, I, I think everyone has like at least two seats, right? And yeah, they got us, what do we have here? They gave us some... What is some protective gear? You know? Yeah. Like a mask inside. Some sanitizer, hand sanitizing gel. And maybe this is this like is this a hood or something? Not sure. Yeah. They give us some a backpack for the kids. Yeah, the kids are sleeping so. Both of them. Hello, say hello. Yeah, and you know, it's just like flying in normal times. Okay, for normal times, they don't give you a face mask. Damn this. And just took off. I hope we will not fall out of the sky. Descent, and we're going down to Doha, Qatar. I hope we survive. So we arrived in old Doha. First I thought we were in Vegas or something. I thought we flew you know, the wrong way, but we didn't. All right, so we are leaving the aircraft. There we are. That's cool, man. That's pretty cool. Check it out, dude. It's cold, actually. Here, I'm not going to film too much. They're pretty... Uh, paranoid about you know vlogs or some people filming it not it's not like the the best way to travel during this pandemic if you can avoid it you avoid it Back for 13 months in the country and you feel the urge and you gotta go for it here and the dinosaurs dude it's just like a Malaysia isn't that weird Yeah, I'm not filming too much. They don't want you to film in here. Clearly not. <laughs> it's a pretty cool bronze uh, playground here at the airport. It really is cool, actually. Huh? 
Climb up there. Wow. Check out this one. A little details. That's cool, man. That's like art. Like it should be, you know? So kids can play on them. Check it out. Oh, yeah. I'm liking. Hmm. This is <laughs> really amazing. I'm loving this. Hey, look at my. Hey, check it out here. That's a family, but they don't wear face masks yet. But this might change. I just read over there all gates. What does that mean? Bill Gates? Another luck. Another bus, another luck. Right? That brings us to the last air pad, the last airplane, hopefully. I won't, won't be filming too much when I get to Cairo either. Just, they're also a bit filmophobic or logophobic, you know? I'm coming up with new words. Yeah. Guys, we're in the plane in the second and hopefully last plane. Let's take off. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to take a moment to advise you about our services on board today. After like half an hour of taxi, we're taking off already. The hell! Yeah, the kids go crazy, and it's quiet, and everybody hears everything. You can see the Mediterranean, but unfortunately, from where I sit, I cannot see much. And there's lots of people in this place. I mean. More or less, and mostly there's one one seat, one seat empty, like in the middle, you know. We're, we're going. All right, let's do it. Swimming vests. Why don't they give you parachutes? <laughs> well, a parachute will help you if you, you know, if you fly from the sky. The vest is not gonna help you. There, you see, see the blue, the blue Mediterranean, then the desert. Where we're floating around, it's just so beautiful and clear in the water. Now, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's quite nice. And here we've got the sky. Yeah. We're soon to be arriving and um, yeah, things should go smoothly. We should get a 30 day visa on arrival for 25 US. And you know, and then just go our ways. I know, then the pandem pandemic, you never know what's gonna happen. And this visa can, should be, should be extendable for up to six months. So that would be great because then we could, you know, just figure out how long we'll stay. But let's see. Look, we could be anywhere at any airport, but we are in Cairo. We landed. Going towards the, see this Arabic writing? To the baggage claim and then trying to yeah get the visa on arrival <laughs> and then you know leave and go into town but I'm gonna stop filming because I'm not sure how cool this is here went well we got our stuff and you were a bit tired and it was actually it was a lot easier to get into the country in, into Egypt than, than actually leaving Malaysia but you know so one one journey so I'm gonna call this a, a video, a channel video from Malaysia to Egypt. Okay guys, 
and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.